Oil paints that thin down with water, not mineral spirits. They exist, and in this video, we're gonna see how well they work on Warhammer minis. If you wanna jump on the oil paint bandwagon because they make such awesome washes, but you don't wanna deal with mineral spirits, then we're in the same boat. Let's see if we can have our cake and eat it too with these Windsor & Newton water soluble oil colors. The first thing I noticed when squeezing out the tubes of lamp black and raw umber is the paints are incredibly thick and they have this slightly odd sort of vegetably smell. Now I'm gonna thin down the black paint and try and use it as a simple layer paint. By wetting my brush, I'm able to pretty easily thin the paint down on my palette. So it's good that it does what it says on the tube. My victim for this experiment is going to be this Spearman. And as I paint, my first impressions are that the paint covers very well and is very saturated. Annoyingly, I found that the paint didn't flow off the brush very well and there was some very obvious brush strokes on the mini afterwards. I think I didn't thin down the paints enough. As you'll see in a second, I could have thinned the paints down a lot further and I'm pretty sure if I thinned them a little bit more, it would have solved these problems. Now let's try and use the black and brown paints as washes like I've seen Ninjon and Marco Frizzoni do. My goat man here has been base coated and is ready for this punishment. In the videos I've watched with normal oil paints, what I've seen them do is take the paint, thin it down to a wash consistency, cover the mini with the wash, then take their foam and soak it in mineral oil. And with that, they're able to pull the oil paint off raised areas that they don't want the wash on. I'm gonna to attempt to do the exact same thing, but my pieces of foam will just be dipped in regular water rather than mineral spirits. To pull the paint off the minis, I bought these eyeshadow applicators, which are basically earbuds with foam on the ends from the makeup department of a pharmacy here called Boots. To wash the base, I'm taking the black and thinning it down a long way to a wash consistency. And then I'm gonna basically cover the entire base with this wash. I got a bit nervous here because the, the wash pretty much entirely covered the paint job underneath it. Then I took my uh, foam sticks and somewhat magically it pulled off the wash from the uh, raised areas. So not bad for a first go. Next, I mix the black and brown together to make a wash for the bottom half of the mini. And once again, the foam pulled the paint off all the raised areas. One thing I'm realizing now is you have to be very careful to go around the mini evenly as you pull the wash off the mini. Because if you miss a spot, there's gonna be a weird patchy looking shadow there. Real life, unfortunately, interrupt me at this point and I had to stop painting my mini. I came back 12 hours later and was pleasantly surprised to find the paint on my palette still wet. So I took my brush and thinned it down some and was able to finish off washing this guy with 12 hour old paint. Throughout my trial with these oil paints, my main struggle has been to get the consistency right. And that's pretty much the same struggle I have with acrylic paints. These paints aren't magic. They won't turn you into a golden demon winner, but I think they work quite nicely and they're definitely another tool to add to your painting belt. They can be thinned down to buggery while staying saturated. They stay wet for hours and in combination with foam applicators, they give you lots of control as to where you place shadows on your minis. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like as it helps me out. Links to everything I've used in this video will be in the description below. I'm Dave and thanks for watching.